right, putting in mind the security situation in the country in the last couple of weeks tonight, you're asking a question. Would you feel more secure if you were allowed to carry a firearm? Well, the National Police Service is proposing to raise the number of civilians licensed to carry firearms. It remains unclear, however, whether the current rules will be eased or tightened to make the plan a reality. But as De Dennis Onsarigo reports, procuring a firearm legally remains a tightly controlled affair in the country. The guiding to safety of hundreds of victims by armed civilians caught up in the Westgate Mool attack has got the National Police Service thinking firearms in civilian hands. Mr. Kimayo is doing what his predecessor should have done long time ago allowing the citizens to participate in keeping the nation safe. The suggestion from the Inspector General Police of placing firepower in the hands of the civilian population is not new. In 2004, the Kenya police sent parking hundreds of police reservists holding guns. The recent killings of religious leaders in Mombasa have also influenced a call by a section of Christian leaders there to carry firearms. Owning an illegal gun in the country is not a tall order, but owning a firearm certificate that doubles up as a firearm license is the most tedious undertaking for an ordinary citizen. Civilians are only allowed to own handguns with a maximum of 200 rounds of ammunition. A handgun will cost you between 160,000 shillings to 300,000. One bullet will cost you 100 shillings and more. But experts are quick to caution it will take more than just owning a gun to have one. The police have to prove your financial status before they give you a gun. Cases of armed civilians giving out their guns to commit crimes are rare in the country, but cases of policemen hiring out their guns have been reported in the past. What is more, for one to own a gun, one must approach his local police station, apply for a civilian firearm. His application will then be sent to the District Security Committee, who in turn will forward the same to the Provincial Security Committee. You have to write a letter explaining why you need the gun. After all conditions are met, the team will forward the application to the Inspector General Police. The police boss has a choice of okaying or turning down the application. Guns come with strict conditions. For instance, you should not point it at a person unless your life is in extreme danger. It should never leave your side and you should never display it in public. I think Mr. Kimayo is realizing the greater challenge of keeping a nation safe with a small police force. Something one also needs to remember, that firearm is the property of the government of the day and it takes a very junior police officer to revoke your license if you have mishandled your weapon. For now, arming civilians is just an idea. It is approximated that there are 5,000 firearm holders in the country at the moment. The numbers of those seeking to our firearms is on the rise. But according to gun dealers in the city, only two or three are approved in a month. Denso Sariko KTN, Nairobi.